Tassis Kabwejere was professor of sociology at the University of Nairobi in the 70s. While in exile, he was involved in clandestine efforts to undermine Idi Amin. Kabwejere was actually the convener of the famous Moshe conference that formed the post-Amin government. He recalled some of the dangerous missions they carried out. So, uh, we were there, you know, and uh, the, the intelligence knew us because there are things which sometimes you don't want to say, but it is years ago, <laughs> but certainly we were working uh, internally here. We had a unit here working, and just as uh, you even had his team, we also had our connections here, and we were picking equipment from Tanzania and bringing it over here to Busia and so on. Through, through Kenya. Mm. Very, very dangerous moments in, in many situations. Mm. <laughs> mm. 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 <laughs> it explains now one of the episodes. <laughs> uh, one of the episodes was uh, uh, two vehicles, my own car, which was a Subaru, being driven by uh, a Kenapo joke. And I had a university vehicle of the Department of Sociology, and both of them had guns and we are coming through uh, having stored them in in a, in a camp in Nairobi and we now were able to get them to bring them to Busia. Now we come through Chisumu and as you are going up to Maseno <laughs> there is a roadblock and the the police stop us. But we also find there a vehicle with a boot open. And you could see it. If we, and uh, Akenapo Jok knew the person who was there. He was called Chimumwe, one of the, one of the, of the people. They, they, they cleared us. I <laughs> said, so you go. As we go up the hill, Akenapo Jok stops. He was ahead of me. He stops and says, by the way, that is somebody I know. Is, uh, he, he had come through which you see with the with guns also in the boat. So I said, please, if they see us now stopping here, that's the that's the the time when I I, I, I because those were handed over to Amin and he killed them. Kenya Kenya handed them over. Yeah. The ones who had been stopped. Yes, yes. So that was the time I recall when I could have escaped from Amin here and then I would have come to Amin. To be killed. Yes. Professor Kawajere explains why Tanzania was ready to fight Idi Amin. When Amin took over, Nyerere said no. He would not have anything to do with Amin. And Amin took offense at that. Uh, you remember when he, he went to the OU and, and, and he was trying to, to, to shake his hands, you know? Uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Nyerere's hands. So Nyerere was adamant, opposed, and now he, came, he kept uh, Obote in his Musasani. Musasani was a state house. Mm -hmm. and, and Obote, and Amin, of course, didn't like that. Uh, it was obvious that uh, uh, he supported him. And don't forget that in 72, there was an effort, an attempt mm -hmm. to, to come in, which, were, which was uh, defeated. So, and, and the, uh, obviously his intelligence must have also known that we were also working. And Fronasa was obviously known, yeah, very active. So, when he attacks Tanzania, then we all now gather. We all now have an opportunity. And I've told you about the, the meeting, the wedding. But while Amin was a big international problem, opportunism also led many people to Moshe. Meanwhile, I am in touch with all these different groups. But uh, as we got to uh, Moshi, so many people now knew this was going on, and we all were anxious to get, to get rid of Amin. So groups came, in the, <laughs> some were <keep> forming. <laughs> you said 84 groups? Yes. No, 88, 88, 88 groups. groups. Yes, some were forming in the compound. <laughs> so we had to have a special 
credentials of the committee, which I chaired, with Rugumayo, with Omonyo Jok, uh, with Okoto Nyoromoe, with uh, Dr. Thenabria, uh, and, uh, uh, and we sorted out to reduce the numbers from that number to 22. Now, the issue was not that uh, we hated some people, but uh, there was no way we could fit in that room. The room was small. And if uh, uh, I'm looking for my speech that time, I had I used even the, the Chinyankore uh, proverb uh, that it is better to feed somebody with a running stomach than feed the ungrateful. Because we took days before we could concretize, and yet we were under pressure. Tanzania was under pressure. Already troops in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the country, and I mean, would kill anybody. And it was days before his collapse he, of, of his defeat, because this is March. 20, this is March. 21st, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So th there was a lot of tension, and, and the international community was so hostile. Marimu had now broken the sovereignty of Uganda. What is this, and so on and so forth. So th that explains the dynamics, the quickness, the, the pressures we had. And then they, we formed the UNLF. The meeting in Moshi went ahead with a lot of arguments. Next episode looks at Mwali Munyerere's influence and interests that finally determine the composition and leadership of the government in exile.